I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression. It's all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the So this side is done, back is done, now he took this one off, he has to get done, he's working on that one right now, it's looking good, it's looking good, so listen guys, if you need your brakes wrapped, that's heat resistant wrap, I'm going to leave his Instagram up right on the screen and in the description, make sure you guys hit him up if you need that. Trust me, it'll make your car look so much cooler. Cause I know most of the Mustangs, they come black. Uh, most of the Chargers, if you have a scat pack, you know, or a 392, those come black. He could wrap them red for you or whatever color you want. And he also wraps it in one piece. I know a lot of the other guys sit there and make like 10 different layers. He's gonna wrap it all in one piece, make it look like it came out from Brembo like that. We are going to the shop to do a couple things. First, we're installing the Stita Drag Springs, which will lower the car a little bit. And also, we're gonna put my front runners on, as well as my uh, rear drag setup. So, it's been a super, super, super busy day, but now we gotta go and install all the other parts. The reason why I'm rushing to get all this done is because there's a huge, huge car meet tomorrow, and my car's gonna be in the VIP, so that's why I'm trying to get it ready. So, I hope you guys are ready, because now, we're gonna start rolling out to go to the shop. Let's get it. So I got the wheels right here and then the tires are in the trunk and we are ready to roll. All right guys, so we are almost there. I had to literally drive like an hour to get to this shop. Shout out to him for, you know, doing it last minute. All right guys, so we made it to the shop. We're about to pull in to get this started. It's gonna look so good. Also, what we're putting on the car right now is these drag springs from Steeda. Shout out to Steeda and shout out to Jigger. Hook me up with these. These are gonna go on the Mustang all fours right here. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot better at the track. And on top of that, it's gonna lower the car an inch and a half from the front and an inch from the back, which is one of the reasons I'm putting them on. Besides that, it's gonna be good for performance at the track. I love that it's gonna slam the car down. It's gonna look so sick and I'm so excited for that. All right, so now we're gonna take the new wheels, which I will show you guys in just a second. So we just got to the tire shop. Budget tire, cause he's broke. <laughs> budget, we're on a budget. So it's time to get in there. So 
So they're balancing the wheels right now. And they lost my cat. One of the cats, he's saying it's this. But I remember bringing both of them here. So I don't know what we're going to do, but they're getting balanced now. And we got to find that cat ASAP. All right, they're all gone. We'll just put them up here. Perfect. Alright guys, so it's time to leave and head back to the other shop to check on my Mustang to see if it's done or not. I don't think it's done. It probably has a little more left to do, but we're going to check up on it. And uh, yeah, we are like an hour and a half away from home. We're kind of stuck here until uh, we get everything done and then we drive both the cars back home. But uh, I'll see you guys at the shop. Alright guys, we are back here. We got the Mustang over there looking beautiful. I hope it falls. Look at this guy hating on me. Why are you always hating, bro? Why are you always hating? You like the Mustang? What do you think? It's okay. Could have did better. Uh, of course, look at him. Stop hating, man. All right. Let's see. So, uh, we're also going to fix the exhaust tips because uh, he was telling me how they'll look funny. So, Paulie right here is leaving me. Listen, Paul. Take care of my baby. <laughs> tell me I gotta hey, go. wear your seatbelt and don't speed. Okay, Dad. I have, hey, I, I'll know how fast you're going. I have an app for this. It's good. All right. See ya, Paulie. Woo, that thing looks good. Maybe we need to wrap that. Yeah. Oh, you ready to leave? Are you ready to leave? Yeah, leave that G-Wagon. Okay, okay, okay. Why isn't your seatbelt on? I'm not ready yet. I'll call you every now and then just to make sure it's on. Alright, so uh, we got Bali leaving me. So unfortunately, uh, he's going and leaving me here all alone. Oh, Bali. Oh, Bali. It's all good. He's a really good guy and I appreciate him coming here to help me uh, bring the stuff here and also I was already doing a burnout in my truck. But yeah, shout out to Polly. And now we're just gonna wait for the Mustang to get done. We got the rears in, not the fronts yet. So here are the rears. So that's in, and that's in. So now we just got the fronts to get done. So basically what we just did is lined the exhaust tips up because they were not lined up what so ever so shout out to TJ for hooking it up also I want to shout out this place just because they are taking care of me and I'm really a new customer to them and uh, somebody referred me to them they are taking care of me like family and they're staying a little bit past open time to help me out I'm about to show you guys the shop name so make sure you guys come and check them out it's right here make sure you call that number if you need anything this is their entire shop And this isn't a promo, trust me, it is not a promo, but I love the way this shop is taking care of me and the way they do work here that I just wanted to give them a free shout out because they're awesome. They didn't ask for it, but they definitely deserve it. So if you guys need anything done with exhaust or if you have some suspension stuff to get put on, come right here. We're all done. Yeah, that looks good, that looks good. All right, guys, we are almost done. All we gotta do is put the wheels back on and we're right ready to take it home. Stop. All right, guys, so the car is all done. We're about to set it down. We're gonna set it down on some blocks just because it's lower than usual. So I'm so excited to see how low it actually is. Sorry about my hands, but let's get it done. So we're gonna put these in the trunk. Now, we're ready to bring it out of here. Let's get it.
baby. Look at that. Oh my god. Look how it is. See how low it is? I think he's gonna take it for a drive just to see how it rides. good guys i am so happy it looks amazing i've never lowered a car before and those drag springs made it look so much nicer and it definitely filled up the wheel gap but yeah we're almost done and then it's time to go home i've had such a long day all right he's back it looks so good Woo! wow get an alignment and shout out to TJ honestly like the other shop he owns is closed and he's still gonna take me after hours and get an alignment for me so shout out to the guy awesome <laughs> awesome guy and man he's been treating me so well so make sure you guys if you need anything come right here so we're here time to get the car in there to finally get home. Let's get it. Alright guys, so if you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. So before I let you guys go, let me just walk around and show you guys kind of what we did to the car. So I wrapped it camo. I chose the color orange, uh, gray, and white. Um, the gray is kind of like Destroyer gray or Nardo gray. And also wrapped the Mustang symbol in orange. Another thing we did is wrap the Brembo brakes in reflective orange. So that means they glow at night. So with me wrapping the brakes such a beautiful color, we want it to pop out and we want it to be noticeable. Well, the stock wheels just don't do it because they have so many spokes and you just can't see the brakes at all. So I decided to go with four star 18 inch wheel front runner. It's also to match the rears. The rears are 17s, the fronts are 18s. I also wrapped it around M&H race star tires. And another thing that bothered me about this car is the ride height. So what we did is we went with Steeda Drag Springs. I didn't want to just lower the car. I wanted it to kind of have some sort of performance advantage with the mod that I was going to do to kind of lower it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I didn't want to just do cosmetic looks. I kind of wanted to help me perform better at the track. So we went with the Drag Springs from Steeda. Shout out to Jigger. He hooked me up. So what those springs did is they lowered it an inch from the back and an inch and a half from the front. It gave it the perfect ride height as you guys can see made the car look a lot more aggressive let me show you guys how it looks from the front you see how it looks from the front it's a lot lower and i'm so happy with the ride height it's just perfect and there's really nothing to complain about the way it sits and also on top of all of that it's gonna perform better at the track and the final touches on this car to kind of make it about the channel make it the car's channel is i slapped on this motor tube vinyl in orange the same orange as the car to kind of just you know say that this is for the channel and also around here i also put you know youtube and the motor tube to just kind of make this car all about the channel so with that being said i am so happy the way this car turned out honestly it turned out better than i 
thought. And the main reason I did all of this is because the car was originally just black. And that's the reason why I got it black so I could wrap it. And when it was black, it was just simple black. You know, I kind of just fit in with every other black Mustang. And with this wrap, I wanted it to be so different. Something that when people see it, be like, oh, that's motor tube. And I just want this car to be a channel car. I'm really excited to see where we're gonna go from now. And it's ready to get to the track, so we're gonna do that pretty soon. And just let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the way it came out? So now it's time to let you guys go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the wrap, the wheels, everything I did to the car. And if it wasn't for you guys, none of this would be possible. So I just wanna thank every single one of you guys for being subscribe for watching for liking for commenting and you guys mean the world to me so if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up if you're new to this channel smash the subscribe button turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with the videos and i will catch you guys on the next video peace out